Hi everyone. Today I wanted to paint my thumbnail or should I say rough sketch since it's larger than a thumbnail. What better way to truly have a loose sketch without trying to sketch loose. This was also a great exercise in getting comfortable with starting my sketch off with a pen. I tried out a couple of other sketches and here's one of them. I really like the Staller method. I got this idea from Felix Scheinberger's Domestica course. I'll talk about that course soon and my main takeaways from it. I also used hot press paper and I really like it. I'll definitely start sketching more on hot press watercolor paper in the near future. All right, let's draw. So here I'm just starting off as I would normally draw my thumbnails. I mean, obviously my thumbnails are smaller, but in this case, I'm just drawing it in a, on a larger scale and I'm not caring if there are any mistakes, if I'm going over any other lines, I'm just drawing a really rough sketch, but with a pen. And this is what um, I'm going to paint over. Uh, this is cold pressed paper. It has texture. So I think that's why I liked the hot press paper when starting from ink and, you know, getting a darker line right off the bat is because there's not that much resistance on hot press paper. I have to learn how to work with watercolor on hot press paper, even though I'm like not the greatest on cold press yet. But I don't know. I think I think I might go the hot press way. Who knows? Anyways, back to this sketch. Um, I'm just doing a, my rough sketch uh, from a pen and then I'm gonna start painting it and uh, that's it. So I will see you guys on the other side.
Okay, as I finish this up, I'd really like to know how your rough sketch paintings turned out. Leave a comment or post a photo of your sketch on my Pinterest page under the photo. A link will be in the description as usual. And yeah, it'd be great to see everyone's, everyone's paintings and how you actually felt about this exercise. All right, until next time, stay positive, stay creative, and always be kind.